Hey guys, Sean from h and Lab here, and in today's video, what I want to show you is how to use the power of HH Schools and PixNub Sports Photo Automator to create your own very unique custom senior banners for your high school athletes. So I've got this banner. I'm going to have PixNub swap out the individual image, um, update the year, update the first name, last name, and the team name and then it's gonna save it, and it's gonna save it in such a way that I know whose image that belongs to, so that subject ID match will still be connected. I've got my HH Schools project set up here. What I'm going to do is I'm gonna come in and I'm going to add any fields that are needed um, for PixNub Sports Photo Assistant. And so I've already gone ahead and done that. You can see I've got some resize fields in here. Grab all these images, go up to my edit, field value, um, go down to resize. The first name is fine, but I'm gonna go to last name. I'm gonna type in XM. It's one of the settings that's in Sports Photo Automator that you'll get familiar with as you're using it. League name. I'm gonna grab team name. And then the last thing I'm gonna do while I'm here, I could do this later, but I'm gonna go ahead and do it now. The last thing I want to do is I'm going to go ahead and add in my package for my senior banners. And so my banner that I'm going to be ordering is a 3 by 4 banner, and so that's my package 3. So when I click OK, it's going to give me are you sure kind of warning. And then when I click OK, now I can see I've got package 3 entered in for all these guys because that's what I need, a banner package. And I've got my resize fields filled out. So I'm going to grab all these images and I'm gonna click on this PixNub icon you see in the upper right hand corner here, or hit Command or Control X as your shortcut key. From there, it's gonna ask do I wanna use all the images or just from the filtered view, and in this case, I do want the filtered view. And then it's gonna say, what is the source image gonna be? Now obviously, when I brought these into HH Schools, they're JPEGs, because that's what HH Schools needs. But in some cases, um, you're going to be manipulating the files so that maybe you want to do a knockout and you want to have a knockout banner. Um, and in that case, you would want to set this to PNG, which is what I'm going to do today. Um, we do have some other setting options in there as well, but I'm going to be using the PNG because I'm going to knock out these images before I put them on my banners. And I can do that with one of the other PixNub plugins, or I could outsource that if I needed to. But I'm going to use the PixNub plugin. So I'm going to hit Export. And it's going to ask where do we want to save these. And so I'm going to call this Senior Banners. And this is saving what's called a TSV file. That stands for Tab Separated. I don't know what the V stands for, but it's a Tab Delimited file. It's just like a CSV, just like a comma delimited. But instead of delimiting off of commas, it's delimiting off of tabs. And that's so that it can handle more robust data requirements like um, quotations and commas, those things perform much better with tab delimited files versus comma delimited files, but it's the same thing, just a del different delimiter, okay? We're gonna hit save, and that's done. So let me show you what it's done. When it exported out, it's created this Excel spreadsheet here, and so we've got this HH Schools column name, which is important for HH School, when using this with HH Schools. If you're not using this with HH Schools, usually that first column has to be named something else, but this is exactly how it needs to be for using it with this plugin, so please don't change it. But I just want to show you what this looks like. So you can see there's a lot of columns in here with data, and there's some that aren't filled out, and that's okay. You don't need to delete those out. Um, again, you don't need to change a thing about this. You don't even need to open it. But I just wanted to see what that looks like and know that it is formatted correctly, so you can bring that directly into Sports Photo, Photo Automator. So let's go in and start our batch processing here. I'm going to use a CSV or TSV data file. So let me go browse to that. There's that file right there. So that has been loaded. And I'm gonna click Run Batch. So while it's doing that, let's go ahead and peek under the hood and let's see how these are actually coming out. We've got our banners already coming out, ready to print, and they are looking fantastic. Notice how the year's been updated to the correct year. The image has been replaced. The name has been updated. The team name has been updated. Um, and so this is a very, very fast way to create these banners and render these out if you have that Photoshop file set up correctly. The batch is completed, so let me hit close on that. 
and let's pop back over to HH Schools. Let's bring those files in. So um, I'm going to go up to Project, Import Images and Data. I'm going to call this my PicSnub camera. You can name it whatever you like. Um, I'm going to grab those and we're going to go to get those rendered files. Got all those here. Open. And then before you blow past any of this, the next thing you want to see is this PicSnub Assistant Import. It's very important that you choose that option whenever for the match data when you're bringing these in so that it knows to look at the file name and pull that correct information from the file name. So the import is complete. PicSnub imported 14 of 14 files. That's good. That's all I was asking for. And it matched all 14 with the subject data. So that's super critical. So let's go see what that looks like. I'm going to hit proceed to edit project. So now you can see I've got the original here from a camera one. I've got that export file. I've got the rendered file. So I don't need this file anymore. So let me go through and get rid of all those. So let me go back to cameras, BNR, grab all these, move them to the recycle bin. Yes, I'm sure. Let me go back to clear that filter. So now I've got the images next to the banner file that I'm going to be using for each of these. At this point, everything's ready to go. You'll notice I've got my package association even has the group association on this. So it, it remembered the group association from the original image and applied that to this new file. Um, input the package letter um, and it has the rest of the subject information. So at this point, I can go through my crop screen, verify everything looks correct how I want it to, and submit the order to the lab to have that processed, packaged, and shipped out as quickly as possible. So hopefully this is helpful for you in creating your custom unique banners for you this year. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to give us a call and we can discuss that further. Um, again, my name is Sean, and I hope you have a great day and a wonderful sports season. Talk to you later.